How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode here on the YouTube channel. My name is Tyler and it is my goal to help you guys become better bass anglers. And in the pursuit of that, I work with a company called Skeeter Boats. And if you guys didn't know much about them, they are some of the finest bass boats on the market. And I have the privilege of working with them and Yamaha to make some awesome videos and help them kind of create content. And as a part of that, I get to have a Skeeter boat to use every single year. And so I have my brand new FXR 21 bass boat, brand new for 2020. And last year I got the 2019 FX and I got it fully rigged. Had the power poles, the electronics, all the batteries, everything was fully rigged inside of the boat. This year, I decided I wanna do things a little bit differently. I wanted to learn how all the pro fishermen do it, and that is how to rig your own bass boat from bare bones to fully rigged and ready to go catch some bass. And that's what we did. My dad and I have spent the past two weeks in the garage putting batteries in, running wires, literally getting this boat completely ready from scratch to catch fish. And we are on the final stage. If you guys missed the uh, the break-in video, we broke in uh, a little bit of the engine, the power pole uh, installation video, those will all be linked below to get this boat ready for this part, which is the custom electronics mounts. Now I'm gonna hand the camera off to my dad. He's gonna grab it here. And I'm gonna do a little bit of talking about this company here called Boat Logics. I have seen this company's uh, electronics graph mounts all over social media for a few years now, and they looked awesome and they looked super practical uh, and, and definitely beneficial for myself as an angler, but I just didn't really have any sort of need to get in touch with them because I had Pearl and then I had my electronics already on the, uh, the old mounts on the 2019 boat. But I got in touch with them this year through Alton Jones Jr., one of my best friends. So Boat Logics was super excited to work with me and I definitely wasn't gonna turn that down. And if you guys don't know what Boat Logics does, they make custom electronics mounts for both single and uh, dual electronics and I'm super excited of course about both of those on my boat but especially to show you guys the dual electronic mount up front. So this video is going to be all about installing this. We have done a lot of the uh, I don't know, customization work before this, uh, and I'll explain about that here in a second. But this here is one of the mounts that I'm super excited about by Boat Logics, and it is a dual electronics mount for up in front of the trolling motor. So I'll do some sort of B-roll shot here uh, of the two graphs up front on somebody else's boat or on my boat once we get it finished, just to show you guys kind of what it looks like. Maybe have some pictures scrolling through, but it allows you to, to seamlessly mount an electronic here and or a graph here and a graph here and have your cables come out of this little uh, back section here. So you guys will see all throughout this video the installation process. But what makes Boat Logic so special is that they are custom built for your exact boat model and year. Now, of course, with any sort of boat technology, you're gonna have to have a little bit of customization to do. So my dad and I spent the last few hours off camera uh, rigging up a lot of holes to, to fit screws through uh, and just kind of getting everything prepped to finally put the boat logics on the boat. Uh, we have most of the wires ran, maybe have a few more wires for electronics, but I say we get started. So we're gonna start the installation here at the dash and we're gonna install the adjustable graph mount here by Boat Logic, just a singular graph mount. We're gonna be putting a Hummingbird Solix 12 touchscreen unit on here and we've already done all the pre-wiring uh, things that had to be done from running the power cables into the positive and negative feeds that Skeeter provided for us inside of the dash area. And so what Boat Logic comes with is a very, uh, it's a laser cut custom made uh, you know, base plate system that consists of two different plates that we're gonna actually use uh, that, that came with it up on the bow of the boat. But back here, just in terms of getting it exactly customized the way that I wanted, we have the original uh, Skeeter aluminum base plate here that you put, of course, on your dash to mount electronics and other accessories. We're gonna use this one instead of the base plate that the Boat Logics came with just because this fits perfectly and it aligns with the steering wheel. And one issue we ran into yesterday uh, while doing some of this pre-rigging was having my hand hitting the graph uh, unless we use the original plate. So we cut all the necessary holes in this for the, uh, the wires to go through, all the screws to go through, and this thing is finally ready to be installed. So we're gonna, of course, we're gonna screw on the pieces uh, in order of, of making it easiest for us. So we're gonna put all the pieces onto the base plate and then finally putting the plate onto the, the dash. Now, something that is very important for electronics is wires because they provide not only the power, they provide the feed for your, your sonar, your downscan, your side scan, 
and all that jazz. And so we have all the wires ready to go. So the cool thing that Boat Logics does is they have a, what we're gonna call, I don't know the exact terminology behind it, but a wire feed uh, bracket. So it has two little rubber pieces that serve as water stops that your wires feed through, almost like a flap system. And the wires are gonna feed through those and go up to your graphs and provide uh, as, as much water resistance inside uh, your dash area as possible. So we are going to attach the uh, bracket mount for the wires onto the Skeeter bracket. Well, we screwed it in and uh, it was the rubber was upside down. So had to flip the rubber back the way it was intended. I thought that I could put the rubber where the, the wires would come out of it more easily, but the, the rubber kind of separates into a hole anyways. So no need to do that. We're gonna put it back the way it was supposed to. All right, so now that we have the Boat Logics, uh, you know, rubber cable management in a bracket. We're gonna put on the actual electronics mount itself, which is super cool. I'm sure I'll talk about it more up front because that's where I'm gonna do a lot more adjusting of the angles. But the way that whoever is running Boat Logics over there is uh, is building these things and just the ingenuity is crazy. And so it, it allows you to have so much more flexibility with the angles of your graphs than a lot of other uh, mount companies out there. And I'm super excited to run them this year. And it would it would make it simple to change out your graphs, both your, your sizes and your brands to fit on these exact mounts. So we're gonna grab the mount right here. I'm going to lay it down. We're gonna grab the other camera here and get some more beautiful shots. And just like many other things on my channel, I do love to be filmed doing them, but just for the sake of saving time and getting this installation done faster, just like the Power Bowl, I'm gonna be filming my dad doing a lot of the installation. Putting together all these pieces really isn't that difficult, so I'm not gonna show a whole lot of the uh, the rest of this dash. But what we're gonna do next is take my Hummingbird 12 here, and of course the bracket that it comes on. I'm gonna take that bracket off. We're gonna install it the correct way onto the top of the Boat Logics mount. Then we're going to run the wires for the power, the ethernet, and the sonar. And then we are finally going to screw down the whole base plate to the dash itself. So everything is done besides the final adjustments to be done on the uh, the dash mount here. And as you can see, we have a beautiful display right here in front of the steering wheel. We have enough clearance that I can steer the engine without hitting the graph. Uh, with, with gloves on, even I would have enough clearance. And we have enough clearance to make sure that the wires can get into the backside of the unit. And the coolest thing that I love about these Boatlogix graph mounts is that the, the, the ease of, of adjustment in terms of where you want the, the mount at is, is uncanny. I've never seen anything like this in terms of a, a boat graph mount. So I get it, you know, exactly where I want it. And then you just take Allen wrenches and uh, tighten all three bolts on each side. So super, super simple. And we're gonna make that process happen right here. And we'll see you guys for the very, very exciting part up at the bow. So the dash mount is done. And as you can see, that right there is not going anywhere. And if you think that is rigid, just wait until you see how the front deck is gonna be set up. So now we have to move the front deck and we're gonna do this boat logic system here, which as you guys will, will be able to see, it does fit two graphs. We're gonna have a Solix 10 up front and then a different graph that is coming in the mail in a few weeks that will also attach up here, which will be hopefully the final customizations we have to do to, do to this boat before it is finally ready to go. But this one, we're gonna keep it on the laser cut uh, base plate that Boat Logic's made. And we're also going to have the I don't know, secondary little spacer bracket just for even more rigidity, even more strength. That way, if a big old wave comes and I spear it, uh, I'm not gonna lose my graphs because these things are incredibly strong. And then they're gonna go onto the drilled sec section of the, uh, the original Skeeter plate that we have on here. And it's all gonna screw onto the front of the boat. So let's get started. <laughs> So the first step is going to be mounting the Boat Logics mounting bracket to the Skeeter cover plate. Then we're going to mount the Boat Logics adjustable bracket to the Boat Logics mounting bracket itself for extra rigidity. And lastly, we're going to mount the whole dual graph unit to the bow of my Skeeter.
so after all those simple steps, we have gotten the uh, Boat Logics mount up onto the top of my Skeeter here. We have not screwed everything in yet in terms of the whole bracket to the bow. But now we're trying to decide what is the proper angle to have the, the dual adjustable system uh, angled at. So back here on the dash, you can see we only have a, a single adjustment. So it only goes, well I mean of course you do have a dual adjustment with the hummingbird itself, but you only have a single pivot point here at which you can adjust the angle. Up front you guys can see there are two here, and so you have one graph that faces this way and one graph that's going to face this way. Now because we don't have the second graph with us right now, we're waiting for it to arrive in the mail, uh, we don't exactly know the proper angle, we don't know how much room we're going to have to leave for cables, so this adjustment right now is just going to be for the sake of finishing the video. We'll probably have to do a little more adjusting once we get the second graph in. But as soon as we get the stuff adjusted, we will get it screwed down and we'll almost be done. So I think that we finally have the front graph exactly where we want it. I'm going to show you guys right now. And as you can see, you have to have it kind of, uh, you know, parallel mounted with the graph. So back here, the mount is, you know, a little bit angled in terms of the, the face of the graph. Over here, it's completely, uh, you know, mounted if you were to look at it upside down. But with this double mount, we're going to have the other one mounted up on the top here as well, kind of sitting right here. So you have one graph right here and you're going to have the next graph right here which we are waiting for. And as you can see it is plenty rigid, not going anywhere and we don't even have it fully tightened down yet. That is cool. That is dope. Well boys and girls I hope that you enjoyed that video. It is always a pleasure for me to show you guys some of the cool technology that I get to roll with year after year and I'm excited to partner with Boat Logics. and uh, you guys will probably see photos on social media if you guys don't follow me on Instagram. Make sure you guys do that because you're going to see a whole lot of photos of the second graph that I have going up on the front that's going to make this one dadgum fish catching machine. So I'm going to take one last look at it. Pretty insane unit. You can probably tell I have a camera angle up there that's shooting right over there right now and it is going to be awesome just to stand at the, the front of the boat here and have one graph for mapping and sonar and the other graph for the other thing. So with that said, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. If you are not yet, I would love for you guys to join Team TRF. I love showing you guys all of my fishing adventures and I have, you know, I haven't been fishing a whole lot because we've been spending the last two weeks rigging this boat up. I definitely have an increased level of respect for everybody that rigs up bass boats every year, all the pro bass anglers. Don't know if I will do this again. Hopefully I'll get batteries and a trolling motor rigged on my boat next year so I won't have to spend time doing all that. But it's definitely cool to learn with my dad exactly how the boat is built that way when something goes wrong I can fix it so if you guys are not subscribed hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next episode of TRF